I, I've had the opportunity to coach um, five players that have gone on past the collegiate level that have been to many tryouts and um, you know are still trying to make it to the next level in the NFL. Um, but those, to me, aren't aren't the success stories. Um, you know, everybody wants to latch on to those. You know, honestly, a lot of those players, they were successful in high school and they were successful in college, and that's the reason that they had those opportunities to get into the NFL. Um, you know, to me, the success story is is the Chris Freemans of the world, who went to work every Saturday morning after our game on Friday night that I took to work and then I picked him back up to come watch film with the players and then I took him back to work to finish his shift and he closed Saturday night and Sunday night and he did it every single year that he was in high school. Nobody knew about that. Uh, they just they just knew that Chris was a good friend of theirs and that he had a good work ethic. I knew the other side of Chris. He was help, helping pay bills and he never once complained. And uh, the, the, one of the greatest things that, that happened, I was sitting with a college coach and um, we were watching a player, another position, and Chris made a play, and, or he made, went to sack the quarterback and he missed. He flipped over the quarterback and the quarterback took off running. And Chris jumped off the ground and went and caught the quarterback about 15 yards down the field. And the coach asked me to rewind it, so I did. And, he started asking me about Chris, started asking me about his size, about his work ethic, about his grades. Um, so after we got done, he asked if he could if he could see Chris. So I went and got him, and uh, he offered Chris a full scholarship that day. And I remember Chris, tears in his eyes, you know, hugged me and said, I, I didn't think I was going to get to go to college. Um, you know, and... To me, that's the success story. Uh, you know, the, the 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 kid that didn't have it all handed to him, or or you know, was blessed with some ability, but not like others. And and they they're the the gems, the hidden gems. And you know, for for me, that's one of those guys that comes back that I was just talking about. That he wants to come back and give to the program. He just wants to come back and talk and say, you know, these are the things that they're going to ask you to do. The coaches are going to ride you about these things, and this is why. And, and this is what could happen to you if you just do what you're asked to do. And, um, you know, and, and kids like Chris, those are, those are the ones that, that I think about that that's my why. Um, I, I, that's another thing I talk to the kids about is what's your why? Why are you doing what you're doing? Well, that's my why. I, I think about Chris. I talk to him about the kids. The, our players know Chris, and he played for me in 2002. Um, they know him because I talk about him and his passion for the game and his passion for life. Um, you know, so that's my why.